I never get tired of telling this story. Elmer McCurdy was a, a bank robber, train robber in the early 1900s. He gets killed in a gunfight and they take him to Pahuska and at, when he gets there they do an autopsy on him and they you know, find the part of a bullet that, that had killed him and everything and they sew him back up. And, um, the guy that had, had done the autopsy, his name's Johnson, he waits for payment from the county or from anybody. You know, for, waits for somebody to come and pick him up. And the county refuses to pay him for his services or to bury him. So he sticks him in a room, he just sticks him in a back room, and he sits there and he dries out. Uh, he mummifies. You know, after time goes on a little bit, people, people realize or they start to wonder, it's like, hey, you know, do you guys still have that, that mummy? And he's like, yeah, you want to come see it? And so people would go see it. And then, you know, so many people were wanting to do this that he started charging people a nickel to come in and look at it. After about five years, um, some guys come in and they claim that this is their brother and that they're there from California to pick him up, to take him home. So they take him and, you know, within a week, he's in a, a sideshow. And so he spends the next 65 years in sideshows and wax museums, and when they finally find him again, he's in a fun house in Long Beach, California, hanging from a noose and painted uh, orange and red. This is a man, you know, this is this is human being, and this is what people are doing to him. Film crew goes in and they're gonna they're gonna shoot an episode of this thing called the the Six Million Dollar Man. And um, as they're setting up their shots, somebody bumps into the mummy and the arm falls off. So they reach down, pick it up. When they do, they're like, looks like a bone. And they take the arm to the, to the corner, the LA County coroner. And they're looking at it and they're like, yeah, this is human remains, where is this? And so they go down and pick it up. They start doing another autopsy and they realize that, that it's already been done. So the director of the museum, the Oklahoma Territorial Museum, um, his name was Fred Olds. He's like, well, we should bring him back here. You know, if that's one of our, our outlaws, we should bring him back here and bury him. So the museum um, paid to bring Elmer back. They paid the shipping to get him back here. And then they put on a, a funeral for him. We're open from nine to five, Tuesday through Saturday. Um, if you've got questions about Elmer, you can contact me, you know, just ask me. I'm Michael Williams. Just call us and, and uh, I'd be happy to talk to you about it and show you the things that we have and tell you this story.